This one from I am Justin Lamb. Will Kansas City have a top 10 defense? Better pass rush, better linebacking core, more experienced secondary. I think they might surprise people. Uh, well, well, you if you we just heard of the we, pod with that. <laughs> we're with you. I do think it's coming. I think top def- top 10, you know, now I'd like to have Chris Jones there, but I think those linebackers are phenomenal. Nick Bolton might be the most underrated linebacker in football. Right. No doubt about it. And Willie Gay's no slouch either. Sure. And then we hit the secondary. And then you go to talking about Carl Laftis with another year. And they got a good, you know, group of role players on their D line. They drafted uh, it in Duque, right? From uh, Kansas State Kansas as State, another yeah. pass local, rusher. Local draft pick. So I'm uh I'm with you there. And I you know, to me, this is where Kansas City and this is where I think the league is gonna have to go this year. I said this during the season last year. Kansas City is going – it showed team something last year, the Super Bowl specifically. One of the things I said during the year, and I know you listen to me, but you don't always – I don't expect you to listen to every show. But one of the things I was saying about, like, the Eagles and the Dolphins offenses, right, if you're going to stop them, you can't just think you're going to go, we're just going to call good sound defenses and we'll be in the right – they have an answer for everything. At some point with your good sound defenses, they're going to call plays or you're going to go, it's sound, but now this guy did a fake reverse this way and they pulled two linemen this way and they faked the running back to the other way and now the quarterback's going this way and they got an extra gap over here and you, you can't defend it right and to me what the Chiefs did and showed especially in the Super Bowl is that you got to call some defenses that are not specifically always great they're not sound they're not perfect you have to call some defenses and go I'm going to call this because all my studies and stuff say they do these things on second and seven but if they call this one play, we might be screwed. There's no risk. Not, um, but you got to do it because I don't think you're ever going to stop these offenses with the read options, the RPOs, all the different things they're doing. You can't be sound and have a guy in every gap all the time. So you got to con- c- kind of create your own chaos. And that was my point when I was getting with the Chiefs is I think the Chiefs are onto that, and I think Spagnuolo realizes that because he's had to play some of these offenses and go, you can't be sound all the time against these guys. you got to take some calculated risk or chance, and that's where I also think that the Chiefs will thrive. And if you have the greatest quarterback on earth, why the hell would you not do that? Right. You, or, if right. you make a mistake, you really think Patrick Mahomes can't be relied upon to get those seven points back? Agreed. Agreed. Take or, the chance. Or like they did in the Super Bowl. Yeah, don't take, take the chance. Make them, you know – go score or they're off the field. But either way, Mahomes is back on the field playing. He's not sitting over by the Gatorade bottle for, you know, 27 minutes with the team running the ball down your throat and six yards, four yards, three yards, doing all that. So, yeah, he's uh, he can take some of those chances. Now, the one thing, like he always says, you know, the, the one thing they have to deal with and what makes it hard for them to be a top 10 defense is what? It's just what you just said. Everybody who plays them goes, we got to do more on our yeah. offense <laughs> yeah. because we, we don't know we can stop stop them so we that play that we've been talking about for seven weeks we're gonna call it this week and that play we practiced the teams over all training camp this is the week we're bringing it out so they have to deal with that shit too where they watch film of a team for nine weeks and go whoa this team never did this the first half of the season and they're doing it five times because people know they have to go outside the book to to beat you know those red and yellow they basically become the schoolyard bully that everybody gives their best punch to. exactly you have to you have to it's a tough way to be right but a good place to be. It is a good place to be. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner. So now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbutton. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbutton. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.